Hey guys, Dylan here, and I'm going to teach you how to make um, a Siamese Rubik's Cube. So the materials that you need are... Uh, two 3x3s. Um, okay. So what you want to do is... Um, for, with the 3 by Oh, hold on. Let me tell you the materials. So you want two 3x3s. I already got the 3x3s ready. You want... Um, and you want... Um, any glue. I'm using um, Elmer's glue. Um, it's, I, would I would just recommend um, super glue. Okay, so let's put this aside real quick. So what you want to do is you want to like, take off three. Hold on, I used Elmer's glue to glue on these. Accident, I accidentally took them off. Well, they fell off. Oh, dang it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take off three. Um, um, I took off the green... I, like three um, in the front and then there should be like if there's two green left um, then you want to take off um, so and then you want to take off um, the same thing but instead different colors see how they're all opposite colors You want to take. You want to do that for each side. So once you've took that, those off. Um. Now you can get the glue out. I'm using Elmer's glue. So what you want to do is, um. From this direction, you want to put a little bit of glue onto there. Let me just get it. Like just a dot. Just don't make it go across. And then do it for each one. Well, this one's going to be kind of hard. Okay. Got that done. Do that for each one. Okay. But I, w I would recommend a... Uh, um, like the ear picks, the ear thingy with bobs, the ear the to get the ear wax off. But I'm using a piece of paper, or you can use your fingers. Well, I'm gonna use my fingers. Okay, so once you've actually got glue dots, you want to um, kind of spread it around the the top. I'm using a piece of paper to wipe my hands on. And do it for each one, and make sure to not um, glue in those in in these edges. I'm not gluing right here. So you want to do that for each one. I'm also using a piece of paper if for emergencies. And then you just do that for each one. I may cut this out a little bit. Um, um, okay. So that so then what you want to do when you're done, it should look something like that. Just get it up close, I spread it around. Then what you want to do is you want to move one sideways, and then you want to flip one upside down. My gosh, I just flipped them on the wrong side. 
uh, that's what you need the paper for if you fail. Okay. Then I'll oh, just rip some out. Okay. Let me just wipe this out. Sometimes you may mess up. There's music playing in the background. Is this music from like the 1980s? <laughs> no, it's 1580s maybe. Okay, so once you've got that, you want to stack them on top of each other, just like this. You may want to wait about five minutes. And if they come out of the edge, that's fine. Okay, I will make a tutorial on how to solve this Siamese cube. I'm using a cube from the dollar store. I may glue this back on. So you want to wait about five minutes. Or you can just press down really hard. Oops. Okay. Um, so you want to wait about five minutes. I have glue all over my hands. Um, uh, I, I said wait about five minutes a bunch of times. Okay. So once you have this, um, okay. So once you have, um, this down. You can do this with a 4x4 four four too. This is the Siamese 3x3. Three three. The Siamese 4x4, four four, you can do this. You can basically do this with any cube. But it needs to be like a cube. Not like one of those shape shifting thingies from Bob's. Or you can do it with um, the mirror cube. Okay. So just wait about five minutes, so. Um, I'm just going to end the video now, so yeah, just wait about five minutes, so bye. Oh, hold on. So, so as you can see, you will not be able to turn the middle. You can do, you can only do a total of three moves. Um, so I'll be showing you that in the tutorial on how to solve the Siamese cube. Okay. So bye.